Welcome to On Your Image with Dr. Fungai Mtisi, where we discuss issues that happen in our societies and communities. The mission is to transform individuals to become better people in terms of culture change, reputation management, and any other positive benefit that we can derive from these discussions. As people, one of the most painful events that we have to deal with are funerals. According to the research, it reveals that our youngsters or the young people are really failing to follow funeral protocols, cultural changes, as well as the norms and values that are supposed to be followed during the funeral. Today we are discussing what has gone wrong with our youngsters with regards to the funerals. And today in the studio, I'm joined by Falake to discuss why as young people fail to follow those norms and values. Welcome to the studio, Falake. Thank you so much, Dr. Mtizi. I'm glad to see you and let us get into the discussion. All right. Falake, dressing, it's being said the way you are dressing as young people is not appropriate, especially for funerals. What's your comment on that? Well, first of all, I'm going to be a young person. I'm going to be what of Kushanda working, even helping with dishes? But that's what we call funeral. At the end of the day, you are coming to mourn, you are consoling the one who is griefing and also you. This also, but kajinji pa namo, wani nge waripu anuita shuma puto ne kusuka. Tese ati ngangu iti se nunzi pa njire pa apu mo 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 tisuka. Ajiti. Okay, let's look at even going around, sending your condolences. Kubata mawo kubachi wanu chaipo chaipo. You are not doing that as young people. What's your take? Tunuwa bata. I think sometimes it's a bit much. I still batter. But yeah, expectation you put better. So, what do you think should be done? What, as young people, what is it that you want? I think when God tends to see, God notices when you change. Culture is dynamic. You know what change? Muka ona mu ima cultures even within our own country. Aba mwa tu ungani three days at Twitter isus. I'll give you an example. Tine ne ba edu isus who was of a mixed race, Karat Patishona. A very prominent guy. Pa kafa tarenda kumpa kwake. Kazi wacha katoz. Ah, mawe mawe. Papa sna kana manzo kanz. Aiwa. Tunozo unga na muswa kati takuvika muna. Watu uiva chiva tapoja. Tuno ita isusu pachiva nukuti. No funga utu kuchema muno. Kunga na panjumbo one. Aiwa kus kuchema muno. Wanano chema rakasian. Saka chipo kungo uisi sana uti. Tuo jifambi sa se kuti. Kana muno afa tuno ya to batana. But it does not necessarily mean the kasava tapo. I don't respect or value muno afa. Kana tuwa firwa. Let's look at. Different churches. Mm. If they are elderly people, they would expect you to wear a long dress or probably wrap your Zambia or even sit down and help to sing. But youngsters, the research has shown that you are not really doing that. Firstly, we don't even know half the hymns doing Bwako. Two, my church and Osea, and I can ask Pinda Roma, and I can Roma, Pana Pan and Kashuka and Gamba Mangwana and Emmanuel, not an easy. Saka could indeed Taris Rondosh can she shower and I got to take over the singing. I don't know the song, so that's not even practical. Mm -hmm. Secondly, the church leaders must accept that the way I live my life every day is who I will show up to be at the funeral. I must not metamorphosize into something just because I'm going to church elder. The moment I was a then we're living double life. I didn't have to do it. I'm open. Do not show your cases and dear. My brother, my brother, don't get every day. Do I know for now? Tell us and chat up on them. Eh, when I go to church, I will run around the garage. Ziva, don't get in. Do not die here. As can I sing garage? Ziva, don't get in. I see most of us as we are my song. Yes, and and this and this choir. I'm not a gospel singer. I will never know half the hymns that are sung at a funeral. What's wrong is young people now then to learn? Because remember, you said it's three days or two days. Mm -hmm. What's wrong as young people to wanting to learn and execute that what is expected during the funeral? Again, cultures are different. Cultures are different. But in the meantime, we what we understand. Also, this is a now Namo is now a phenomenon, I think, as I'm becoming a young adult, that I'm 
the concept of death, I think, is becoming more real to me. <laughs> and therefore, I have an appreciation. Which, okay, no, fun, no, and also, my parents are impressing the idea of, I want to be a person who is 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 the way I ate when I'm buya I'm buya wangu. I'm buya wangu. Atusiana. Even my needs are mazwan. Atusiana. Cabbage ra kudura. Teka kufunza yote nasi cabbage ruki tamari. It's expensive. I would rather wano seva mari ya wepa na muyoyo. We shansa something after na mwenda. Pane ufunga wano pano fida for like achawe ya uzola. Pangu cabbage ya chore chindi shatira. Ashana shashabetira. Nduwe ya ndo chema nao. Nduwe bata maoko. The most important part is probably the burial. Varungu wana wa iti jese jojo. But they're still Zimbabwe. But at Swarungu. At Swarungu. But does that mean not going for the three days makes me less of a... Um, a sympathetic person that Mnangari for three days. No, it doesn't. It's not a measure of anything. It's just a practice. But it does not say you are more cultured or you are more understanding of death than Munasna for three days. All right. For that, let me bring another dimension to you. Do you think that your parents or adults are taking enough time to educate you on the protocols expected during the funerals? First of all, anyway, Nyayadze rufu is, is sort of taboo to talk about. I want to rufu because we believe it's almost like kushuruzira, wishing upon death for yourself. So, first of all, and easy, we move in, gato gara, never know about it. Nasa wanangu, mapeza ulasadza, tuda utana nyaye namo. It doesn't work like that. You learn as the processes go. And even then, akuna wano tuashuka pa namo, it's right, wanangu, iwo chia pa namo, duku zizi, it's right, wase. It doesn't work like that. You learn as you are participating in the process. Looking at what's happening on social media, mm -hmm. people are posting pictures during body viewing. You know, some are even dressing up for the funer funeral. As a young person, do you feel that we should be adopting that as adults? Well, first of all, I don't think it's a question of adapting or adopting. It's not so much that it was taboo or not acceptable, it's just a new norm that is becoming. So I don't see anything wrong with that. In any when my brother died, I took pictures. I haven't posted them yet, but I took pictures because I wanted to remember him. For the, for, I wanted to capture the moment he was most peaceful and the last time I'll ever see him. So I have those pictures. Posting them, if you are comfortable with it, go ahead and post them. It's not disrespectful. I'm assuming also to by the time you have some coffee, I can get a lot of coffee. I can a So why not? We must dress up. We're celebrating on Wafa. A car in Namu, I think, was quite that now. Because you know, Taku, we see even with the coming of the gospel, you know, it's a celebration. This person is entering a new realm, a much better dimension than they are on earth. So we must go and celebrate. They've run their race, they finish, and they told Pembe that Taka Chena, in any Kwangum Gamagashi. Welcome back to On Your Image with Dr. Fungaim TC, where we are talking about our youngsters failing to carry the funeral or observe the funeral protocols. And now in the studio, I'm joined by Mo Blessing, who is going to talk on behalf of men. Welcome to the studio. Thank you, Dr. Blessing, what's your understanding of funeral as a man? Funeral, my understanding is this is a place where we are going to mourn uh, a friend, a colleague, or a relative. All right. So, the research has shown that, Varume, you are failing to execute the roles that you should carry during the funerals. Like, kutema huni, kunochera guwa, kuraya mombe, kufia, nishunga shakadara. What's your take on that? Uh, we are not failing to execute our roles as men. Uh, what I think and what I know is, one, we are not being taught to do those things. So, if I go to a funeral, I'm not supposed 
to I'm not supposed to cut firewood or gutema wound whatsoever, gutema mombe, gura mombe whatsoever, everything that I have money, so I pay. Let other people do that. Because <laughs> someone <laughs> is supposed to do that, not me. Why not you? Right. I am not taught to do that. I don't know how to do it. But you can ask other people who are there, how do now, I do this? Um, yes, I'm supposed to ask, but it's the responsibility of our elders. That's the responsibility of our parents. I'm supposed to be taught how to do certain things. Again, I like um, when we used, w w when we were still young, at Nambu Vilatenda Gurufu, Taito Sayakumba. Sometimes we can and So and they don't so they are not supposed to explain because I don't move Saka you because you've got money, therefore you should not execute your duties. Someone should do it for you. I have I have executed my duties. Through money? Yes. Marine do you talk with I'm an entrepreneur uh, by nature, so I know how to make money. So I'm, the money that I'm making, I'm not just making it for business, mm -hmm. but to support my family as well. Mm -hmm. So, Maria and Dr. Gazira, or whatsoever that is there is a roof and a quit. Um, one day. It's a process. Mm -hmm. I'm supposed to be taught in the process of the process of continuously. Mm -hmm. Then kutema wuni kana ndi semu vinanda katema wuni ka ndi nozi tema gumbo irita ba nam mukazu share mna nozi kupai marima mbana. <laughs> so I use my money, I use my pocket. Chopa wakuma na wewe wanengo wari pove wewe wanengo wakatu mire soso ndozo wanengo wakatu mire. Mwatengira soso. Tuwatengira super, tuwatengira watu eva so nda zima ma boxi ma tsun watu eva tuwa pa vuti temira mwe zedu vuti temira wuni zedu then rufu to continue. Okay, culturally maybe you are mkwasha. You are supposed to do that for Ambuya Vaku. So inside you, do you really feel you have executed your role when you've paid other people? I think my presence is should be appreciated. My presence. So paruku to kujema wuni papa and ninge ndaka to mira bobo zinda badaraga ndichi assistant ndichi ndichi no monitor kona to wuni zinga zote mariru shanda. If you go to a company, you see a boss on before one hour grab a computer. She type at some by hour meeting. Precisely. Mm. So I think I should know. I know some people at some by just know. Gadzire ba gadzire. Those on the internet. Gadzire we need to know. Zogana ko zikwa ni muchi muchoto. Okay. Mm. From research, we've also discovered that you husbands, you are the ones who actually determined to say, "Mukadzo ngo askura la pana, madam, let's go kumba." Yet the wife is supposed to be there. Why are you doing that, as men? Right. Um. Technology is evolving. So, Rufui Ritugu Rona Zakawanda, internet, my movies, and stuff. And at the same time, in you know what you know, like I said, I'm an entrepreneur, mm -hmm. and there are other entrepreneurs at the same time, I know about Rufu and other business gurus and Ngawa Ripo. What's wrong with leaving your wife behind? Sometimes, if I'm doing a business, it's, it's not just a, it's a family business. Mm -hmm. I work with my wife. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But come, my parents are cool, or maybe your relatives, they're expecting me hey, to be there, helping to cook and serve other people. But she was there at the first time. Her presence was there. She did whatsoever was supposed to be done at first. Aita zwanga chita abatsira. And the pandru zama futu kutora nipe kuti like, and the tarot mariangu ino shanda. Iye wachu, paharu kuwea, azusukura watu kwa panamo, muroraka, azufa na wanga chii, Achingoida ma judi zemki chenga, marora vaka wanda, andi ega marora. Saka vangu marora ngawa itika esos. Inde tine marora vani ngawa vago musha. Tine marora vani, kune marora vatu ndo zote, ava marora vaka, they are meant to do this. Vatu ndo zote vaka muska ba namuka, iva vavo ndora ubas. So, is it, isn't it like taking your wife as someone who is very special? Because your mother will be proud to sit kuna amone murora wa upasaid ni pasaid. Aren't we losing the opportunity to learn what should be done during funerals? When I married my wife, I married for myself, not for the family. So, um, she's not supposed to stay or to sleep at the funeral. But she has a lot of responsibility and duties to do at home and at work. So, again, we are working. Trivana taka kuru, taka kuzwa, taka ina sikuwa chikuru, taka zizi sikuwa, taka kushanda, taka kutamari. And it, we are a catering team. You know we are, your supporter, your assistant, wanuojika. 
But anu gona kuone kwa kachi mira miro paketari ni papa. Anu mira mira achi achingo achingo supervisor. Ngazuda ingazuda 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 ingazuda. Niku director tu kuruda kuinde soma place nde kupi. Chat ndo zana kwa sangu itezo. Kwete kuita. Ah kwete kuita. Saka mimi seva nui chidi kama musku dawa chwa kazi nyuma info fwe. Muka kushanda shanda karupi tika parufak. Alright. Ah uh, dupa tamu tra uti marino di. Marino tonga. Ngo <laughs> zine ngeri bo. Saka hafa nungu ni agu nga chingo info info pesi pesi. Rake basa ndiri ongo wano disi njese ziri ni oda. Ok. Ndi makadu makadu wato mbote saka shinji. Uka doshika paru ufuka shinji muna. Ni mara kato ngo shika ka. Mese munu ita oda. Boze aninga kutanga kusa zini muoda. Ni mari yake. Imi maamu chita zi kutema uni munu tombo mira. Boze mruza ati kuna adi. Kuna ashika. Saka ndosu wataa kuita mazwano. Wakua shati nita ashika. Ndi kana wati wana baba. Kana wati wana ati nita ashika vani mari. Ndi we can control everything. Because of with money. So as men. At what point do you socialize and discuss about these issues okay um as men we meet we we discuss a lot but uh three quarters of the stories or uh, the talks that we do as men are uh, business talks mm -hmm. because we are considered we, we consider the future mm -hmm. of our kids mm -hmm. in the future generation mm -hmm. so mainly we'll be talking about business mm -hmm. we want to make money we want to see our family uh surviving tomorrow when we when we left this place or we, we are supposed to leave a legacy Mm -hmm. uh, so we are mainly concerned about living a legacy uh, other than uh, focusing on those cultural things. Um, nevertheless, there are also other seminars or even men's conferences that we attend where we are being taught on other cultural activities. But we are not being taught on how to cut firewood or how to raya mombe and stuff. We are just <laughs> being taught general things. All right. Let me take you maybe 20 or 30 years later. Let's look at your son. What do you think? You have got a dilemma already on what is expected during funerals. Let's look into the future, your son. Right. Uh, of course, since it's, um, there's technology evolving, if you see there's a, a gap between me and my father because of technology. But now the gap between me and my son is going to be covered because of technology. I'm already in technology and my son is going to adapt the same. Uh, so we are going just to leave the same thing. It's going to be the same. More blessing. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. On your image with Dr. Fungai MTC, please don't go away. Welcome back to the third and final segment of On Your Image with Dr. Funga MTC, where we are talking about funerals. Young people are failing to execute their duties when it comes to funeral. And now in the studio, I'm joined by Ezai Marange, who is a soft skills etiquette and life coach expert. Welcome to the studio. Thank you so much, Doc. Ezai, you have been following the discussion. We are in a dilemma. What's your comment? It's, uh, it's the biggest welcome, wake up call that uh, he has come through or across Zimbabwe or the nation of Zimbabwe because mm -hmm. each country has got its own um, observation in terms of the sanctity of death itself. How do we handle our departed loved ones? And from the, the gaps, the generational gaps, which is a contribution of the age, the ages that are coming up called the millennials. We, we, we have got something that uh, um, every one of us must actually uh, work on in terms of contribution to bring back our cultural heritage. I'm grateful to uh, the Minister of Education. They're doing something in terms of um, observance of cultural he heritage and bringing back the same to schools. In other words, what we, what are, we, what we are saying is, Ruziwo pa msoro pe ukoshi ne uzamu, weku, werufu kana kufa. Which, which thing, we cannot say the sting and pain and agony of death can be taken away by being in this age. Uh, Saka, we, we are grateful that such observations have been taken at national level to say in schools something must be actually highlighted and taught to the young ones. Similarly also the tertiary education, the universities, colleges must also adopt the very same norm to just conscientize the young ones, the upcoming, the millennials, the, this generation mm -hmm. of how we can observe with integrity 
hunu wedu ni tsika zedu as far as ba ninge vatisia is okay. concerned our departed loved ones as an etiquette specialist what's your understanding of funeral or mourning now because of trends that are actually going across funerals now have been so much modernized mm -hmm. and this is why the business of funeral parlors has become the it's the biggest uh, business that is actually doing quite well mm -hmm. why because they've understood that um, engaging or offering the service of ensuring the departed one has been given um, a befitting send off mm -hmm. is consent so we have got uh, issues of services in terms of catering. You find other funeral parlors are offering catering equipment, catering services itself, mm -hmm. or without even the involved families engaging a caterer in that space. But all the same, we are saying the aspect of Kumbata mm Maoko -hmm. dressed appropriately mm -hmm. for the event. Remember, as an etiquette specialist, you dress for a circumstance. Mm -hmm. You dress for, for the audience. And the audience you are dressing for at a funeral is those that are in pain, mm -hmm. those that are in a sombre mood. Mm -hmm. So whenever you're going to a funeral now saying, should I put on my stretchy? Should I put on uh, something that is more representing the event where I am going. So I think uh, churches out there, civil uh, societies out there, the nation at large, every institutional gatherings, people must have access to information. And thank you so much, Doc, for bringing this conversation on board because one or two ears out there will pick up something that they can actually go and cascade into their communities out there as far as funerals is concerned. What's your comment earlier on we had more blessing highlighting that if he can't do or provide services he can pay for the service providers and as Mkwasha is there, what's your take on that? Good in terms of provision of, of, of your money but as I said money cannot buy life. It's, it's good when it's, 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 it's at a, a distance but to somebody who has loved, lost a loved one. He needs a shoulder to cry on. He needs a voice that can speak to his or her ears, be it be a man that has lost a wife. They no longer need money or a bag or a pocket or whatever it is. They need a shoulder. They need somebody to stand close by and say, we we'll pray that you go through these painful times. Those words that you need in your ears are not monetary in that intimacy of people surrounding you and making you feel comfortable to pass through the turbulent hard time does not really cannot be represented by money so you cannot i for one would not recommend you take your wife away because at one point if you've got two kids it means you've got two funerals at your house not only of your children yourself can be also the departed one or your wife can be the departed one. So it is in that notion that we have to conscientize our millennials to be a part of the circumstance that is a painful circumstance, which is a funeral. As much as we want to modernize it, there's nothing bad about hiring the catering so that we are full-time part to support our morning crew. So. Yeah, we can, we can have resources, but as I rightfully said, um, that money cannot buy life. The person is already gone, and people are paying their crying. We need to shed tears with them. As I, I want you to talk to the young person out there in terms of how to handle themselves during funerals. To all the young people out there, we love you, we embrace you as our millennials. We know there's so many dynamics in terms of trends, but we also want you to appreciate that uh, life is sacred and you can only live once. If you're gone, you're gone. And if you've got a relative out there and you're a long, young lady, young gentleman, you must also have that empathy put yourself in the um, close family's shoes and say how painful it is. Can I just go 
and hang around my beautiful car out there and say I'm supporting it if you know. If it means I can have um, a, si a sitting for a few, few minutes or few hours within the room, it's quite uh, appropriate. And if you are supporting your maybe friend that has lost uh, the parents, then it means you need to be close to your friend and support him in, time, in, in the times of bereavement. So you are a part of the Zimbabwean culture. We cannot like, really put you outside our culture. We are Zimbabweans and all millennials in Zimbabwe are Zimbabweans. All the youngsters in Zimbabwe are Zimbabweans and we've got our Zimbabwean way of um, celebrating as they are putting it across these days that they are celebrating the departed loved one but we also still have got the pain that we need to embrace with the families that would have faced the challenge. Profound words, Edzai. Thank you so much for coming to the studio. Thank you Dr. Fungai and continue with this uh, conversation it will help the nation of Zimbabwe and at large. I'm sure you have enjoyed the discussions here. Funerals are part of us as people. However, one or two days you have to make sure that you exert yourself and also make sure that you portray the good ethics and values that are expected. Please continue to follow us on our social media handles. We'd like to hear what you think with regards to the topics that we discuss here. Confidence is key to success from myself and the crew behind the scenes. See you next time. Own your image.